hey guys welcome to this session in this session we will going to learn how to play audio files and for that we need one audio file and by using AVKit framework which provides several uh, libraries and classes to create uh, audio, audio player for our app so we will be coding this in Swift 4 and let's get started by creating new project by using Xcode 9 so select here and select single view app and press next name your project audio demo or audio player demo create it anywhere so this is the project click on main storyboard and uh, for an audio player we need three buttons uh, for one one for the play one for pause and the other one for the uh, stop and we will also see the the timer we will also create our label in which uh, we will going to see the timer or the progress of an audio player so so for that we need four component and one by one we will going to to drag this uh, drag those component from the object labor object library to the view controller so search for the label drag and drop it on the view controller and then stretch it and align it to the center and increase it okay and increase the size okay and done you can also change the color of view controller okay make it blue okay now add constraints add height to it so here it is now we're going to add three button of same size stretch it and make the equal width okay so here it is so give some little bit of margin now now change the text color to white and change its background color background color and make it uh, or go and make it green or okay make it green I make it green okay make it green and then change the name and right play here and okay this is that and uh, change the font size make it bold okay now select this and paste it below the first button and right pause here and then select this again this is the last button and me and type stop okay now what we need to do we need to just add constraints to this okay okay here it is now add constraints select all then give left right margin select height to it okay and then add constraints so here it is now change the label color and make it white so
so we are done with the design part now we will going to create IB outlet and IB actions for all these uh, UI component go to assistant editor and then click label press control and drag to the view controller right display label display LBL anything okay display LBL and then go to play press control here then write btn play and we also need to create IB actions for this so then again press control and drag to the view controller and then change the connection to the ta action and then write name of the function play audio you can write that okay play audio here we are going to create an IP action for this we, we forgot to change the connection so you now name it as play sorry pause audio my system is uh, slow so it's taking time now right stop audio oh again I forgot to create IP action okay change the connection part right stop audio okay so here it is if you want you can create uh, IB outlet but I think we don't need IB outlet for these buttons now we need to import AV framework AV kit here okay and uh, create one variable variable for audio player audio player and it should be AV audio player okay <coughs> now now what we need to do we need one an uh, audio file so we will going to move this audio file to the project folder and then we'll drop it copy it okay so now the audio file is in our project bundle now we will going to cr uh, create URL so now we need URL for that audio file will be getting URL from the bundle main dot U R L and then we need to for not for auxiliary we need content of okay I think the method is not existing for the content of you also for resources okay I think this this one with the extension okay great now we'll be writing the name of that file that is music and then we'll be writing the extension for this file and the extension is mp mp3 okay so here it is the URL for our resource that is music dot mp3 file audio file now we will going to create uh, audio we will going to create an instance of audio player here audio player okay AV audio audio player 
audio clear okay and then here you can see that uh, that this this throws so we need to write this code in the try catch block so for that we're going to write do and then press it then copy this whole and then okay this should be in the and then write catch and then let error as ns error and we'll then we'll going to print this error if any case it get error then we should be able to see the error in debug session okay debug now here we will be copying this URL and set as a content of audio player now we will set the audio player dot prepare to play and here now we will going to uh, set the current time for audio player equals to zero okay current time and this time will be and this time we will going to display on our uh, label so fix it hmm. okay so we'll going to you we will then going to call label here and then display label display label dot text and then we're going to write the current we're going to display the current time here okay now what we need to do that and again uh, we use do and catch here but we forget to write try in front of AV audio player okay so we did that now now it will display the current time now we now we will go now we will going to write a uh, code for play audio so for that we need to call play function play api for this audio player okay the similar way we will going to do for the pause one and for the audio audio player dot write as pause and then for the stop and here we're going to write stop okay and as you stop the audio player at that time the audio player current time should be zero so we will be setting audio player dot current time equals to zero so the app is ready now we're going to run and check how it works build is succeeded now the app is launching in the simulator let's see how our audio player will look like so here it is so this is our audio player here now we're going to see that how it is how it works so we're going to click on play button 
now you can listen that I will going to pause this I will again click on play and it will resume it okay we again make your pause now we'll going to stop here now we'll going in play so so our three these buttons are working perfectly but the one thing is not working that is the counterpart and for that we need uh, time we need to run timer here so that it will going to up update the current time of audio player so for that we will be using timer dot scheduled scheduled timer and then press it here so write the time interval that is 0 0.1 and it should repeat so pass through then click here then the timer okay wait so right timer it will going to return a timer so now we will be going to display that display lbl lbl dot text equals to okay we will going to round off okay then write audio player dot current time and then we'll be multiplying that okay and then we will going to round off and then divided by two now <coughs> now we will read on this score and check whether the timer is working or not so this is the project now we will see that whether the timer is uh, displaying on the screen or not so here it is you can see the timer if you pause it so it pause that if you play it it will start from five or for five only okay then we stop then it will set zero and this is how you can create your own audio player and thanks for watching this video